Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video guys, we're going to make another YouTube channel review or we're going to make a YouTube estimated revenue review Ayan, sa channel ni Jose Halorina guys So, dun sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe so may, sa channel ko, please subscribe Ike Marosala So, makikita nyo dyan guys, meron siyang 197 upload video in his YouTube channel with 1.8 Eight something subscriber with a total video views of 124 million 422,907 and then yun yung, karang, yung kanyang kumbansa is country is PH or Philippines channel type is people user created January 10, 2016 so more than 5 years na ito guys and then yung kanyang channel grade total grade in social blade is letter b and the social blade rank is 190,776 and then subscriber rank is 10,536 video view video views rank is 43,229 country rank which is philippines so meron siyang 91 91 spot and the uh, people rank is 1105 and then subscriber for the last 30 days is 20,000 so mataas yan ang uh, 20% kasi nung nakaraang buwan is ang nakuha niya is 10,000 lang so doble so bali meron siyang 100% na pinaas and yung kanyang estimated monthly earning is 246 US dollars to 3,900 US dollars so medyo malaki laki na to, to guys and uh, yung kanyang video views for the last 30 days is 982,000 something so mataas ito ng 17.9% then yung kanyang total uh, subscriber weekly so the graph is working good Estimated er, yearly earning is 2,900 US dollars to 47,200 US dollars. And then total video views weekly. So parang nakakapagtaka dito. Parang ang baba ng kanyang estimated. And uh, makikita nyo naman na ang tataas ng kanyang video views. Anyway, so since majority ng kanyang YouTube channel or viewers is sa Pilipinas... So maybe that is the reason why kung bakit mababa yung kanyang YouTube estimated revenue. For example, dun sa kanyang estimated monthly, meron siyang pinakamataas na 3,900. So kung i-divide natin o kung kukunin natin yung 70% nun, parang nasa let's say na 2,800 US dollars lang yung makukuha niya. So that is my estimation guys. So we're going to estimate or going to compute the 246 US dollars times 48. So 48 is the exchange rate here in Philippines. So he got 11,800 pesos. So mababa lang siya. And uh, computing natin yung kanyang 3,900 US dollars times 48. So meron siyang 187,000 200. Kung yan talaga yung makukuha niya. So, since majority ng kanyang viewers is Pilipino nga or dito sa Pilipinas. So, hindi ko naman dinidiscriminate ang Pilipinas. So, ni example ko lang yung Pilipinas is merong mababang CPM. Unlike dun sa ibang nga bansa na matataas ang CPM like Canada, Australia, USA, Pakistan, Maldives. Yun yung mga mga bansa na matataas ang CPM. So, sana maraming nanonood doon sa mga nabanggit na bansa or maraming viewers na galing doon so yung kanyang estimated yearly is meron siyang 2,900 times 48 so meron siyang 139,200 so yung pinakang mababa sa kanyang yearly estimated earning and yung kanyang 47,200 US dollars times 48 so meron siyang 2,265,600 so estimated lang yun so jump tayo dito sa kanyang youtube uh, status or summary so makikita nyo dyan yung kanyang mga upload na date upload video 
mga subscriber na naka nag-gain or na nag-subscribe sa kanyang channel and then yung kanyang video views. And then makikita din yung estimated earnings sa kanyang YouTube channel. So, pansin ko medyo mababa nga. Hindi ko alam kung bakit or maybe there's something wrong with Social Blade for now. But yan yung lumabas dito. So, yan, makikita niyo mga estimated niya. Eh, parang kita ito ng small YouTuber. Ayan. Pero kung marami ang nanonood galing sa matataas, sa matataas na CPM ng mga bansa, hindi yan lang ang makukuha ng kanyang YouTube channel or hindi lang yan ang kikita ng kanyang channel. So, kung makikita niyo yung daily average niya is meron siyang nakuha na subscriber na 667 ang kanyang total video views one day is 32,762 estimated earning niya is 8 dollars to 131 US dollars and then yung weekly average niya is may 4,600 something siyang subscribers and then 229,334 video views and estimated niya is 57 US dollars to 917 US dollars Then for the last 30 days, meron siya nakuha na 20,000 subscribers. And then yung kanyang total video views is 982,850. And then estimated earning niya for the last 30 days is 246 US dollars to 3,900 US dollars. So nagtataka lang ako kung bakit maliliit or maliit yung kanyang estimated uh, earnings. So, madalas ko itong napapanood sa Facebook kasi gumagawa siya ng mga experiment, especially doon sa mga nangihingi ng barya, um, doon sa mga, mga street vendor, sa mga mga nagtitinda sa street, ayan, humihingi siya doon. And then, parang it's something like a prank and or is, yun nga, experiment lang. So, yun. Pero, siya talaga yung magbibigay. So, madalas ko siyang napapanood sa Facebook. Ayan, si Jose Halorina. Big, big shout out to sa, big, big shout out kay Jose Halorina, guys. Eh, and don't forget to subscribe to his channel kasi maganda yung kanyang layunin, maganda yung kanyang content. And, uh, makikita mo talaga kung gaano kabuti ang mga Pilipino. So, meron siyang mga test na hindi okay. Pero may karamihan dun is lahat naman is ano, uh, magaganda and very positive. Minsan may nade-decline kasi uh, humahingi kasi siya ng tulong. So minsan decline. Pero mostly or karamihan dun is nagbibigay naman or nagpapatid ng tulong. So big big shout out sa kanya and uh, more blessing and more power sa kanyang YouTube channel kasi napakabuti nung kanyang hangarin, ayan, makatulong and uh, namumulat ang mga tao sa mga experiment na kapupulutan mo ng aral, talagang sometimes may iya ka dun sa mga ginagawa niyang mga ano, tawag doon, mga experiment yung tipong akala mo hindi ka tutulungan kasi di ba, ma, for example yung nasa ginaan sa ano, yung ali na nasa malapit sa ilalim ng tulay, yun binigyan siya ng pamasay. Ayan, humihingi kasi siya ng ano, pamasay or experiment nga lang. So, yan makikita niyo yung gain video views niya. So, bawat dot dyan is represent kung magkano yung buwan na nakuha niyang video views. Ayan. And, of course, yung taon na andyan din naka-indicate. Then, yung monthly gain subscriber ni Jose Halorina din, guys, is bumulusok siya. Ayun. Noong last December is 10,000 lang nakuha niya. And then nung, nitong January is 20,000. Uh, yes, 20,000. Sumataas siya ng kalahati. Kaya yung percentage niya is 100. So yung bawat uh, dot na naan dyan is nagre-represent sa bawat buwan kung magkano or ilang subscriber ang nag-subscribe sa kanyang YouTube channel. Ayan. So, nung mga 2019, ayan, madami ang nag-subscribe sa kanya. Kagaya ng 2019 na meron siyang pinakamataas na 175,800 subscriber. Ayan, that is only for May. 
So siguro busy din ito kaya medyo mababa din yung kanyang mga video views. But anyway, not bad. Malaki pa rin yung kanyang video views. And don't forget to his YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel and of course to my channel Ikim Rosales. So that's for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and see you on my next vlog. Bye bye.